Hi folks, Don here with Engine Joe, my 1959 Ford F100 truck. Today we're going to work on the headliner. Now previously I had installed the insulation, kind of a sound deadener with adhesive back and foil front. Same stuff they use on heating ducting. Real inexpensive, but works really well. Previously I had purchased the basic headliner, needed to install a vinyl cover for it. I didn't like the basic white, really wanted it to match the truck. The truck's uh, turquoise and, and white, and I thought it would look really good. So I purchased some fabric. This is a mid-1960s moonskin um, texture in both a light and dark aqua. thought it would really look good in the truck. So using 3M adhesive, I've applied it onto the, the basic white main piece and uh, smoothed it out, applied it to both surfaces, smoothed it out, and um, got that piece ready. Same thing on the side piece, as you can see where I've already applied it on the front side. This is the back side. Made my cuts so that the vinyl would go around the corners. I'll apply some adhesive now. With the little pie shaped pieces cut out, goes around the corners real nice. Holes are drilled for the mounting screws, and we're all set to install. Now it's important to note that a mixture of ammonia and water, about 10 parts ammonia to about one part water, is important for the, the parts that are going to bend the most, the bendier parts of the hardboard. It tends to soften it up, makes it almost rubbery. We've applied it fairly liberally here, only in the parts that are going to bend the most. Don't over soak it, just get it on there so it's a little bit wet. Now let that stand, give it about five minutes to soak in a bit, and then we'll go ahead and do the install. Install the front lip first. A little bit of a balancing act. <laughs> and line it up. I'm going to go ahead and get the center screw in. I've got to line that up. and the one in the top center. I think that's going to hold. I hope. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and put in the other two screws. One and two. 
Nice. Okay, and now this back edge has to go up in place. It has to be bent up behind that little, focus please, up behind that little edge of rubber from the rear window. You have to kind of work that into place here and then down the line. Now I'm going to use a paint can opener to slowly work in this rear edge of the main headliner underneath there we go, oh, got a little snag there it's got old rubber the rubber for the rear window keep on working around that along that edge until you get it push it up into place so you can pull back pull back the rubber and get the get the headliner underneath it Next is the dome light. Nice. Side pieces also fit underneath the rear window rubber. And over the edge of the door jam. Looking nice. And I purchased some new sun visors from Max. Max Auto Supply. They look really good. The only thing I don't like about them is that. Yep, made in China. Well, at least the visors are made in the US. We'll install those next. Well, that's it. Headliners installed. Looks really good. I like the two-tone. Yeah, that looks nice. The sun visors really set it off. That looks finished. Okay, well, like and subscribe. If you have any comments on this video, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.